After the historic success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, ISRO on Monday announced the launch of Aditya L1 spacecraft to study the sun on September 2nd at 11:50 a.m. from the Sri Harikota spaceport. The mission will help develop a deeper understanding of various phenomena on the solar surface. Naturally, the sun is the one which sustains the entire activities on planet Earth. To understand deeper the various phenomena which is happening on the solar surface is uh, going to be of immense help uh, in not only for the present but for the future as well. Uh, for the present simply because there are so many things happening on the solar surface which uh, directly affect the living beings here, the <coughs> climate and weather change and all those things. The Aditya L1 spacecraft is designed to provide remote observations of the solar corona and in situ observations of solar winds at the L1 Lagrange point. Lagrange points are positions in space where the gravitational forces of the sun and the earth produce enhanced regions of attraction and repulsion. These can be used by spacecraft to reduce fuel consumption needed to remain in position. Now they have come out with a vitality idea of uh, placing a spacecraft at a Lagrangian point. That is a, a gravitational field device, you know, the sun's gravity field and the earth's gravitational field more or less match at that point. And uh, to maintain a spacecraft there is uh, least expensive in terms of fuel consumption and so on. And again, you get a continuous uh, observation of the sun. The Aditya L1 mission would carry seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the outermost layers of the sun in different wave bands. The solar wind and then the, the core burning all are uh, emanating a uh, lot of uh, uh, things to the, they are coming towards the earth and towards the galaxy. Now because we are protected by the atmosphere, these are not reaching the Earth, Mother Earth. So we thought if you want to really understand the, uh, the system and its uh, real merit or dangers involved, you have to go out of this and then try to face it. That is the design of this system. So we are going out of the atmospheric uh, condition and then we are going to place it in a place called L1 which is a Lagrange of the, uh, what do you call the meridian. According to ISRO, Aditya L1 is a fully indigenous effort with the participation of national institutions. The Bengaluru headquartered space agency said in a social media post that the spacecraft would be launched using a PSLV C-57 rocket.